In today's video, I'm going to show you how to aggregate multiple FastQC reports like this into a single file like this. So that's when you open it, I mean the file that you have generated, you are going to find a report for the individual files. All right, so this is how we are going to do it. All right, so let's proceed. So let's do this. Let's go back to the FastQC reports. Now, there is the FastQC report. Now, if you have a report like this, this one, for example, we have six reports. All right. Let's even open them individually. Let's open them. There are six of them. I'll open them one by one for us to see something. Let's check them out. Okay, so I have opened all of them now. Now, if you have multiple FastQC reports like this, open each of them. And then examining them one by one like this can be very cumbersome. All right, I have six files or let's say six reports, but then you can have tens or hundreds of reports. All right, so having to examine each of the reports like this can be very cumbersome. All right, and this is where this other tool comes in to help us to aggregate everything. Or well, let me just put it this way so if you have them in multiple files then aggregating them into a single file like this makes it very easy for you to read the reports and even do comparison now i have the reports here so i can even compare all the reports all right here okay now to help us to aggregate these reports which we'll do we are going to use this tool called multi qc this is what we are going to use all right multi qc helps us to aggregate reports or results that have been generated from different bioinformatics tools all right so if you want to read more about this tool then visit this page the link to this page is in the description box all right it helps us to aggregate reports from different tools so just make sure to read this particular page that will help you to know or get an idea of how to use a tool all right so the link to this page is in the description i repeat the link to this page is in the description box so for this tutorial, this is what we are going to do. We are going to use some example reports and we are going to aggregate everything together. All right. Now, before I proceed, let me say that if you want to follow this tutorial, then you need to make sure that you have this tool installed. Okay. Anaconda or Mamba or Marco Mamba. So any of these can be used. We are going to use any of these to install MultiQC and then we are going to use MultiQC to aggregate the report so this 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 i have tutorials that show how to install these tools so check the description so you find this video that will help you to set up your pc okay now let's get back to our tutorial so the first qc reports that i showed this ones they were generated from this first year so let me just say they were generated when i ran first qc on this this first year all right now for this uh, we are going to use the reports which i'll show you where to download from all right but if you are new and you want to learn how to use fastqc to generate reports i have to tell you how to install and set up fastqc and it also shows you how to run fastqc to generate this report so check the description box you'll find links to videos that show you how to do this all right let's proceed now let's download the example data that we are going to use so let's get back to this github report of mine which is here i'll leave the link to this repo in the discussion box i repeat the link to this page is in the discussion box so when we are here you will find this file okay called fastqc reports batch one or zip so this is a zip file that has the fastqc reports so when you are here click this file and then you'll be sent to another page all right so you'll be sent to this page which will be shown shortly So you are going to see something like this. I will just leave it as this. Yeah, so you may see these folders here or you may not see them. That's also fine. It doesn't matter anyway. What is important is that just let's go back. What is important is that just make sure you have seen this file and you have clicked it and then you are here. All right, so that's what is important. So when we are here, you have to download the file the file so come to this side there's a download button that i can use but because i'm going to work on the terminal i'll use the download link all right 
so what i'll do is to get the download link for this file so i'll come to raw this button here and i'll right click it and i'm going to copy the link this one here i'm going to copy it so i'll click it to copy and then i'll open a terminal so i'll open a new terminal like this and then i'll proceed let's do it this way so what we are going to do is to first create a working directory and then we are going to cd into it so i'll say make the genomics and then i will cd into it and then i'm going to download the example so i'll, I'll use wget so i'll say wget and then i'm going to paste the link there all right so i'm going to paste the link like this all right so i'll execute this command to download the zip file so it's been downloaded now it's a small file so it wouldn't take much time okay so it's almost done now so we'll just wait for it to finish okay the file has been downloaded now if i want to run this on a macbook then you can use curl to download the file all right i have a tutorial that shows how to use curl to download files from github so you can check the post for that video i repeat i have a tutorial that shows how to download files from github using curl so you can check the description box for that video the link to that video is in the description box all right now the file has been downloaded so let's do an ls we are going to find it here let me just do it here i'll just clear the screen and i'll do an ls to see it here so this is the file all right now we need to unzip it so i'll say unzip and then i'll specify the file name and i'm going to unzip it so i'm going to see something like this happening so now if i do an ls i'm going to see a directory called fastqc underscore reports all right so i'll ls into it and i'm going to see the fastqc reports like this all right uh, let me repeat again uh, for those who want to run fastqc so you need to report yourself there's a tutorial in the description but that shows you how to do that all right for example data there are lots of data sets you can use and if you want this specific data that i'm using to i'll leave the download links in the description box for you to use so don't worry for data set don't worry you have lots of data sets to practice now let's get back to our terminal okay so i have my reports here which i have shown okay so we can proceed so let's clear the screen let's do an ls and we are done all right now we need to install multiqc all right now if you want to install multiqc the easiest and quickest way is to use anaconda to do it but you can also use mamba or macro mamba so that is why i made mention that you have to install either anaconda or mamba or macro mamba all right so make sure you have any of these installed and then we can proceed so what I'm going to do next is to create an environment and install MultiQC in it. So it's going to be straightforward. So what I'm going to do is to say conda and I'll say create. And I'll say dash n and I'll say qc. So what I'm doing is I'm creating an environment and then I'm going to also specify some information. I'll say dash c bioconda dash c conda forge. All right. So this and this these are channels and i'm going to specify the tool i want to install itself that's multi qc all right so this is how i'm going to do it so first there's a command to create an environment a conda environment and then i also specify channels from which the multi qc should be downloaded and installed so this is how it's going to be done now if you install mamba then you can also use mamba to install it you can also use macro mamba so if you use mam if you install mamba or macro mamba then all i have to do is to change the conda here to mamba or macro mamba so that's it now let's create the environment and install multiqc so i'm going to execute this command and then i'm going to confirm all right so we have to wait for conda to give us a prompt and then we can install multiqc so let's wait for that to proceed now what you should notice that conda is very slow when it comes to installing tools all right 
So if you have a situation whereby you execute this command and then you have this coming up, it takes a longer time for Conda to display the confirmation prompt. Then you have to change and then use Mamba to install. I repeat, if you run Conda and it's taking a longer time for it to install, then you have to change and render use Mamba. So that's what you need to do. Okay, so I'm going to type Y for yes and then hit the enter button. So let me just type it again. It's Y. Yeah, so that should be done. Okay. So once I do that, Conda will download all the necessary packages, install, configure them for us, and then we can run MultiQC. So we have to wait for everything to get done for us. Okay. MultiQC has been installed. So I'll need to activate the environment if I want to use it. I repeat, after MultiQC has been installed, you have this notification. And so that means that when you want to run MultiQC, you need to first activate the environment you use to install, and then you can run it. So let's clear the screen and then continue. Okay, so now we can proceed. So I'll have to activate mod QC. I'll say Conda activate QC. So this will activate the environment for us. All right, so while that has been done, we can now run mod QC. But before I run mod QC, let's take a look again at our fast QC report. So I'll say LS, and I'll say LS fast QC reports to see the reports. Now, with the fast QC reports, for each file, you have an HTML file. And we're also going to get a zip file which has some information. All right, so you need to make sure you have this and zip this for each of the first QC outputs. That is if you are using your own data. All right, so if you want to aggregate the reports, it's a very simple command. This is how we aggregate first QC reports like this using Max QC. I repeat, we are now going to aggregate these first QC reports using. MultiQC. So this is how we aggregate FastQC reports using MultiQC. We call MultiQC and then we specify where the FastQC reports can be found. These reports can be found in this directory, FastQC reports. So I'll say FastQC reports slash and I'll say star FastQC star. All right. Now MultiQC automatically detects the reports. And so all I have to do is to make sure I have specified that information. So I'm using star fast QC star. So that means that I'm feeding all files that have fast QC, okay, in their names, right? With fast QC reports, you have fast QC as part of the names. So I'm just feeding all the files that have fast QC in their names, okay? So meaning that we are feeding the fast QC reports to MultiQC. So MultiQC will look at the files and automatically detects the ones which has to be used. Okay, the ones which have to be used to generate the reports. So it's very, very simple and straightforward. So now let's execute this command. So when you execute it, MultiQC will now do the scanning and tell you the files it has identified. So we see them here. It says 12 slash 12. These are the files, and it says found six reports. Okay, because each FastQC report comprises of what's two files. So automatically we have six reports. Okay, so that's what we have here. So it also tells you the outputs. We have reports. This is the name, and we also have data, which is this one here. All right. So once you have this coming up, that means everything is done. So the name that it gives you is what you have to look out for. All right. Now let's clear the screen. Let's do an LS and we are going to find them here. We have MultiQC data, MultiQC report.html. So this HTML has the reports. It has all the reports from this one here. So all the aggregation has been done. And then this is the output. All right. So let's take a look at this. Now let me say that. With MultiQC, if let's say you already have a report, a MultiQC report available, then the new report will be given a number. 
okay so take note of that but for now this is what we have so everything is looking fine so this is the ATL file which we can open using our browser and so when you come here let's use our file manager you'll see the reports like this you need to look at where you executed the command it's very, very important now if you're using a Linux system let's go back if you don't know where you are you can just do pwd that will tell you where you are and you can now trace it you can now track and then go and then open it using your file manager so for me i'm working here slash home slash cobra slash desktop slash dynamics and that is what i have opened here all right so once i'm there i know this is the output and so i can just open it using my browser so i will just open it with my browser so i'll just double click and then when i double click it i'm going to find my files all right so when you open it you will find a report for each of the files so i see mine here i have this this, this everything is here i have six files so i see all of them here and i also have the report for each of them so we have the report this is for example sequence counts we have for this file this file this file this file and all of them are here so you can just look at it check inspect and then do your assessments all right so this is how we combine or upgrade fast QC report into a single file all right so this is how we do it so that's the end of the tutorial so if you have fast your files and then you have data the reports you can examine the reports and see if there are things you have to do so one of the things you can also do after assessing your report is to do trimming so if let's say you look at a report and then you have some reads okay or some bases having low quality scores you can trim them you can also trim adapters all right so if you want to learn how to trim adapters how to trim reads how to filter reads yeah so let's check the playlist right here 